good morning and welcome to my channel welcome to my channel I've had this rather large parcel arrive today and at first I thought what on earth is that I can't remember ordering anything big and then the penny dropped but first of all I just wanted to show you these lovely um, memorial stamps of the Queen and so I'm going to try and get them off there cut them off and then hopefully steam them off and keep them and uh, we're going to see what's inside but first of all I wanted to give a warm welcome to my newest subscribers for July and thank you so much for subscribing as you've probably discovered I have quite an eclectic channel um, the focus uh, has been on various things uh, my, my makey doll Ren, Sasha dolls I've got Sean Hart I like to make things and craft things and I like to take part, part in different collaborations and sewing challenges and my latest obsession is making miniatures for my vintage triangle dolls houses and I've also got another vintage doll house of unknown make I suspect it's a homemade one which of course is time cottage so uh, I'm going to say a warm welcome to the following subscribers Marcos um, Reborn Mummy Does Slimming World Lisa Dogo who I believe is has the channel um, Lisa's Miniatures Teresa Schubert, Kathy Cece, Cease, sorry if I've said that wrong, April's Home, Jennifer, Marcia Keen, and 66 Lone Rider. These are the subscribers that show up on my list. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If I've missed any out this month who haven't shown up, I'm sorry about that, but welcome anyway. And we're going to open this up and see what is inside. Now, is it a box of packaging? Oh, do we have something in there? Let us see. We have something that's been on my wish list for quite a while, and it's been on my watch list for quite a while. This is a very big and very heavy. Can you have a guess? I'm going to just clear the box and we'll have a more in depth look. Right, let's take her out of here. And we have a huge, and I mean huge, she's a big girl, uh, troll. She's got amazingly soft hair. I don't know if it's original, but it's ever so soft. It may be a wig, I don't know, but beautifully soft. She has a slight scent to her. I think she has been cleaned. I'm not that keen on, on um, scents, but at least it's not a horrible smell. Um, I'm going to go and get one of my other jointed trolls so you can see the difference in size. Right, here we have uh, a series of trolls in a state of undress. I thought um, these are the only ones that are, the, the smaller ones are the only ones that don't have clothes. All my others have clothes. Um, the white hair one just refuses to wear clothes, so, so what can you do? Uh, the yellow haired one, I think he was a relatively new acquisition that I found in a charity shop. I can't quite remember, but uh, he's waiting on some clothes. And the little tiny one isn't that keen on clothes either. Hopefully this big one, I'm assuming it's a girl, with the long hair will want some clothes I certainly plan on making some for her uh, as you can see she's a big girl she's got five fingers as opposed to the four which is usual for these dolls um, these trolls and I will show you her label on the back <coughs> uh, oh that's on the foot of course sorry what am I talking about so it says made in Denmark and it's TH Dam, Thomas Dam, and 1979. So, uh, but her hair is just so incredibly soft. It's beautiful. So I'm looking forward to dressing her at some stage. And uh, it will be probably in the winter months when it gets a bit colder and I'm not spending so much time outside in the garden. So I'm very pleased to add her to my troll collection. I've been wanting a really big one for a long time and uh, I've been watching them for quite some time. And when you put things in your watch list, sometimes you get sent offers. Anyway, I got, a sent, I got sent an offer and I thought, well, the seller probably wants to sell her, so I'll do a counter offer. And she actually accepted my counter offer. So pretty pleased with that. Um, she's the cheapest one that's sold for quite some time looking at um, the sold listings. 
on eBay and uh, she was well within my price budget which was good and I am going to be selling some of my other dolls I've sold two so far I've sold two coarse dolls and uh, I've got a few others that I've decided I'll probably part with one of them will probably be my um oh what is she I think she might be an Eiffel House BJD I just don't do anything with the BJDs so I think she may go I haven't decided yet but I will be going through quite a few of my dolls this weekend anyway Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe um, if you haven't already and come, feel free to leave a comment and have a great weekend. It is the weekend, although possibly by the time I publish this, it might be uh, the end of July, possibly Monday. So I better say have a great week and have a great August. We'll catch another time and uh, I've rabbled on long enough. Ta-ta for now.